Many believe that a generational tradition of passing down herbal healing remedies and practices was common in Mexican Indian ancestry. Juana's mother, Isadora Briones, was of mixed ancestry, having both African and Mexican Indian heritage. Her herbal knowledge would have been influenced by both, and she would have passed these down to her children. Similarly, Juana's paternal aunt, Guadalupe Briones de Oliveira, was a nurse at another Alta California mission, and as Juana spent her youth near her aunt, she most likely learned from her as well. Juana's niece, Carmen Mermontes, and nephew, Pablo Briones, were also taught herbal healing by Juana and other family members, proving its importance to the family line. But Juana must have also learned about herbal healing remedies from the Native Americans who understood the local ecology of the San Francisco region. The plant life would have been the basis of Juana's practices. Juana learned a good amount of her knowledge from the local Ohlone and Cosanoan groups. However, these groups encountered new diseases brought by the Spanish colonists, such as cholera, syphilis, smallpox, and many others. Juana utilized a wider range of background to cure these illnesses. For herbal medicine was a collaboration between Juana and other healers, including the local Native Americans. Juana's home in El Poline Springs, and later in other places throughout the San Francisco area, became a refuge for anyone and everyone that needed her aid. Juana did not reject anyone from care, but for little to no compensation aided sailors and wounded soldiers who came to shore. She was known for a healing mint tea from the Yerba Buena plant. It is said that this tea may have been the namesake of the township that would become San Francisco. Her domain stretched up and down the coast, and over time, Juana became known in the area for much more than herbal healing.